please note that as at the time of framing this video, the new revised COVID-19 protocol for travelers coming into Nigeria has not taken effect. That is why I have a 48 hours validity. It was a nice day. The hotel here is amazing. The ambience, the environment. In fact, I will recommend it to anyone. This is the Maslow Incentive. I had a splendid and amazing five days here in Sentin, South Africa. And this morning, I'm leaving for airport to catch a flight back to Lagos. This is my PCR test result. Validity period, 48 hours prior to my flight. In one more glance at this view from my window, I will sure miss this hotel. But really, I can't wait to return back home. Very well. I'm only throw in only kiss inside there. So you're gonna disinfect it yes. later on. Yes. Wow, okay. So you stay with us, everything was fine. Yes. We hope to see you again soon. What's your name? It's Martin. Martin. Yes. Martin, thank you. It was a nice day for me. Yes. Okay, thank you. Just finished checking out of the hotel. The COVID-19 safety protocol at this hotel is solid. It's time to say goodbye to this beautiful hotel. I had to leave enough time for all the security checks and she'll be at the airport on or before 8.30 a.m. I guess. Hello, my name is Adachi Uchendo and today I'll take you through O.R. Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg and I'll show you what departure is like at the Southern African Airport, what to expect at the airport and how to navigate and not miss your flight. Before we get to the airport, let's talk about this Africa's biggest airport. This airport is amongst few airports in the world that operates a silent airport policy and is situated in the Kempton Park district of Johannesburg, 23 kilometers northwest of city center and 46 kilometers south of Pretoria city center. Formerly one smart airport and later renamed in honor of the late and former ANC president Oliver Reginald Tambo, aka OR Tembo or Ortier, the initialized version of OR Tembo International Airport. This airport facilitates over 21 million passengers a year and one of the few airports in the world with scheduled passenger direct flights between all six inhabited continents and serves as a continental gateway to many sub-Saharan countries. And this is where you start your passenger journey. The trolleys are parked right in front of the terminal, well arranged and it is free. I'm now making my way into the departure terminal and COVID-19 rules and sanitary restrictions are still in force for people entering the terminal building. The airport handles around 281 passenger flights on average per day. You can fly to 84 destinations with 42 airlines in scheduled passenger traffic. The airport is quite busy but still nothing to compare to normal times, that is before COVID-19. These are AP's check-in counters. About 10 counters have been allocated to them and the number of check-ins is dependent on the number of passengers planned and going by the number of passengers I see on the queue, I think we're going to have a near full flight. Getting my documentation checked, my passport, ticket and PCR test results, my yellow fever card is no longer needed since I'm leaving South Africa. My boarding pass just confirmed that the flight is fully booked as I was hoping to get in a window seat, but no worries, I'll just make do with the seat I'm given. And me, I'm very happy that we're going to have a full flight. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening. New boy. And from here, you can see the visitors waiting area for arriving passengers.
A travel and health declaration form is mandatory. It is important you complete it before you get to the screening point. Also, this form can be downloaded online prior to arriving at the airport. Otherwise, they have hard copies both at the check-in counters and at the port health screening area. And that is what all these people are doing. Make sure to always keep a pen with you. So I'm going to get mine completed as well. Going to the health screening point right now and here the health form will be collected from you and they will validate your tickets. Check your temperature and that is all. Everything is well organized in such a way that it is easy to navigate from one point to another without guidance. Nevertheless, they have a lot of monitors that monitor and enforce COVID-19 compliance, making sure that all the protocols are strictly followed. Passengers flying to South Africa should be aware of the following. Passengers over the age of five years old entering or transiting through South Africa must have a negative COVID PCR test not more than 72 hours before departure. I also learned that they have partnered with a national health laboratory services to provide on-site laboratories for international passengers. These facilities are located at airside of both departure and arrival terminals. Now, passengers departing from this airport without a PCR negative test result will be able to get their PCR tests and results within an hour. And for passengers coming from those African countries where there are no structure or availability of testing centers, then never mind. This airport have got you covered. After port head screening, then move to security point screening zone. But you need to scan your own boarding pass, whether on paper or on a mobile device. I've just got into AP's boarding gates and I walked quite a distance to get here. So I'm just gonna sit and wait until a flight is called. Now, have you heard any boarding call announcement since we started this our airport journey? Neither have I. Remember that in the beginning that I told you that this airport is amongst the airports in the world that operate a silent airport policy, which means that announcements are only made in case of emergency or during disruption due to severe weather, lost and found children or lost and found items. Therefore, no announcements calling passengers to their boarding gate or final call announcements. Like now, priorities are given to only COVID-19 rules, protocols and procedures, with audio messages playing every now and then on your public announcement system. So if you find yourself passing through this airport, I recommend after checking in and going through all the airport formalities, just head straight to your airline's boarding gate and don't wait for boarding calls to remind you it's time for your flight because no one is going to remind you. The only announcement here for now is COVID-19 related. We know that planes aren't known for great food, especially in economy. But for those in first and business class, the dining experience is completely different. My next episode, Fancy Food Are Plenty, as we'll be getting a taste of what APIS Airlines business class passengers have been eating and drinking the whole time. It's just to make people understand that we have varieties on board. If you want to eat, to, do you drop? Yes, we're here to make you eat, to you drop. And of course, make you feel at home. We want safety as our priority. Huh? <laughs> What's your name?